Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. <clears throat> Today, we are going to tackle the VersaLife building, and that should suffice to finish off Hong Kong. So, let's get started. I don't know why my frames per second are so low, that's not good. Yeah, hold on, let me restart. This is ridiculous. That's better. 20 FPS. Absurd. So here we are in the VersaLife building. Let's talk to everybody. If you need help, talk to one of the receptions. You do not require a security pass to visit the first three levels of offices. Late night. My feet are killing me. Hope you find who you are looking for. Late night. Should be obvious that these people will eventually be hostile, so let me try taking some down now. Apparently he had nothing worthwhile. Let's see if I did that without turning everyone hostile. Excellent. That's the dream. Welcome to Versaline. We make tomorrow look like yesterday. How can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Hundley. He's upstairs making his rounds. Look for a man in a black suit. Thank you. We're all out of company brochures. You miss the psionics people. They went to the lucky money. Don't worry about it, Tyre. We're very laid back around here. You must have a security pass to visit the laboratories. Maybe Mr. Hundley can show you around. Maybe Mr. Hundley can show you around. Go on up. You don't have to show ID. I have to keep watch. You don't have to show ID. Wow, look, we're way above Tonochi Road. I didn't know that, that's cool. You don't have to show ID. Alright, see if we can take down this guy. I don't know why he wouldn't go down in one, two, three, four, go on four up. hits. There we go. He has two lockpicks on him. That's useful knowledge. And you saw Miss Savannah. Company brochures. Miss Savannah is armed and dangerous, so we'll want to drop her too. <laughs> Ideally, we can do it without triggering hostilities. in this room. Let's see, one work, two, three, four workers here on the ground level. I'll talk to them in a minute. We're all out of company brochures. Really deal with the secretary first. If you need help, talk to one of the receptions. So here's the security room. And it takes one multi-tool to get in. You do not require a security pass to visit the first three levels of offices. You miss the psionics people. They went to the lucky Data morning. Cube. Welcome to VersaLife. We make tomorrow look like yesterday. Please sign in. 2055 A. Donovan. 2120 Miriam Caswell. 2132 Richard Hugley. Don't worry about it, 2134 We're going to Dr. Michaelopoulos. 2146 Claude Harrison. 2252 Cassandra Vargas. 2252 Dr. Lundquist. 2351 Bates M. 110 Dr. Cole. 145 Sarah Stern. 212 Tom Bunch. 217 Lewis Elbed. 224 M. Morgan. 36 Trelane B 313 Gary Burton. Show you around. If you 
hack this from R. Hundley, subject employee evaluations. I'd like to have your employee evaluations by COB today, with special attention paid to those who've been engaging in non-contributory behavior or who've spread information counter to the ideological well-being of the company. I must have a security pass. Oh! That's what you need. You've gotta manage the drop in one shot. Finish reading her email. We'll shortly be rotating you out of the receptionist position here and posting you to another branch to continue your observations. With the continued assistance of you and other trained EACs, we'll be sure to keep First Life a sustained, focused company for years to come. Our Huntley. Let's go over here next. Visit all these workers. Hack all the computers too. From R. Hundley, subject weekly memo. I've recently heard some negative discussion in the halls of VersaLife that I'd like to address. We here at VersaLife are doing a difficult job, the kind of job that few people ever have the opportunity to pursue, because here at VersaLife, we're changing the world. I think all these computers say the same thing. A job such as this demands the commitment and dedication of those few special individuals with the talent and determination to actually make that happen. A family. Your family. By working together, there is nothing we can't achieve. But if we back off the throttle now, it could result in a loss of momentum that would be disastrous. This is a war, a war against disease and poverty, and if we're not willing to reach out and support our neighbor in the cubicle across from us, to get in that foxhole with them and jump on that grenade... make the sacrifice necessary to create truly revolutionary products, then we've already lost. Negative attitudes will only poison the work environment of all those around you, but by trusting in the VersaLife family, you can be sure that your best efforts will be rewarded. We're already making changes, exciting changes, and I hope to tell you about them in future memos, R. Huntley. Additionally, we can create a temporary security pass on any of these computers. I won't do it that way just yet, there are other ways to do it. Please address inquiries to my supervisor. I have work to do. I can't be bothered. Go away. They will think I'm talking to you. I have work to do. Please stay out of the work area. Wait, well, this is an MK12 net computer. From Operation Central, subject new orders. Recent disturbances among employees require all covert and active security personnel to be on alert. Carry your concealed sidearm at all times while maintaining cover.
employees engage in unauthorized or suspicious activities, you are encouraged to debrief them and pursue appropriate remedies. Data entry personnel are not permitted to speak to visitors. Our employees know the rules and will obey. Don't make me call security. Don't make me call security. Alright, so she's obviously one of those covert security operatives, so let's try and take her down. Looks like we can do it with minimal fuss. That's always the dream. This is going to be tedious, but I'm going to hack every computer just to make sure there's no difference. Like, I hadn't found Sarah Stearns in previous playthroughs, so... Just goes to show... You can always miss things. No matter how familiar with a game you might think you are. Nothing, nothing. There are three floors of computers like this. So this be, checking them all is going to take a while. But I'm not actually certain that they're all the same. Let's take a break and see what's inside this vent. Nothing, apparently. Place to hide bodies, maybe. Nothing else. That's creepy. Alright. One more row here on the first floor. I'm talking to you. They all have names, which I like, that were on the sign-in DVD, but... 
Wait till he's walking away so I can roll up on him. If you need help, talk to one of the receptions. And nail him. If you need help, talk to one of the receptions. You get 50 skill points for coming in here. <laughs> The main objective is to get to the mobile one. If you need help, talk to one of the receptions. <laughs> if you need help, talk to one of the receptions. <laughs> the three guys, I may just need to use the gas grenade. Huh? much for the schedule, right, mate? The schedule? Yeah, sure. It's swell to miss a day of work, but they bloody hell better push back the delivery. I know I won't be done. They'll understand. At least the super freighter's on our way to America. No more special agents nosing about up here. Special agents? You know, the ones in the suits with grey skin. Eyes tattooed on the backs of their necks. I'd sure like to know what was in those tanks to make them so uptight. Didn't get a jot of work done today. Why bother data entry? They had me on a forklift. Am I just a common laborer? Wasn't I hired for my expertise? In a former life, I was a mule dragging a stone plow up a hill in northern Thailand. That was random. I bloody hell refused to work at gunpoint again. I'm a professional, goddammit. That's business in Asia. A whole super freighter full of medicine. Think we'll see any of the money? Yeah. Guess you got to pay your dues. Guess you got to pay your dues. All right. Not only do I think we're still okay. But I think we've seen all the security personnel, so. Good. Let's head down to their office now. The gas from our gas grenade should have cleared. 50 skill points. That brings me to 1572. So. Got 
a bioelectric cell. Might as well fully charge. Data key. Universal Life Security Log, 533. Richard Hundley enters with empty briefcase. Verify contents of briefcase upon departure to ensure confidentiality protocols are not in violation. 625. John Smith enters without signing. Note in disciplinary record and increase electronic surveillance on Smith. 1314. Lewis L. then engages in lengthy conversation with receptionist Destiny Savannah. Topic or topics unknown. 2113. Unknown individual enters. May possibly match description of J.C. Denton referenced in Security Bulletin 133B. Will continue observation and detain if confirmed match. There's a clip mod, which I think is now useless to me. Pistol ammo, another data cube. Welcome to VersaLife, where we make tomorrow look like yesterday. As a new employee, you will eventually be issued your very own individual login and password so that we can better provide information and support tailored to your unique work habits. However, until all security clearances are completed, you should use the standard data entry login and password. Login all underscore shifts, password un data underscore entry. Your access will be restricted to non-sensitive documents and company-wide email, but we hope that you will use the opportunity to, act to acclimate yourself to the Personalife family. Note that even though you have not received full security authorization, you are still expected to act in accordance with the rules and regulations outlined in your employee manual and sub supplemental agreements. Thanks, and have a great day! Now let's check their bodies. Cigarettes, of course. A lot of smokers in this game. Security computers. We'll go ahead and hack all of them. Now that I have a login and password, checking the computer can be faster at least. You work in psionics? You look like you could have the gift. Is this criminal preceptor patent proposal is kicking my ass? Hundley won't let me leave until it's done. Hardly worth failing for in my opinion. Who wants to smell the difference between Xenon or Radon? This place. They just want to own anything genetic, any new sequence. People are feedstock, as far as management cares. My job is to find ways to add value. The whole society is built on the factory model. Schools, business, media. Move person X through process Y and add capability Z. Why not clinics? Yes, I better get back to work. I'm so sick of staring at the computer screen. I'm so sick of staring at the computer screen. Alright, let's read this newspaper. Uh, gray death cases misdiagnosed, we've already seen that. So here's Hundley, we'll go ahead and talk to him. Mr. Hundley, shift supervisor, who might you be? I'm contracting this month. Quite a facility you have here. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we're pretty proud of the work we're doing. Any chance I could get a tour of the labs? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, trade secrets and all that. I'll make it worth your while. Hmm, to the tune of what? Two thousand? Never mind. So you can buy passage into the labs from him, but that's not worth doing, so... 
log into all these computers for all shifts, data entry. That'll speed things up at least. Winding down the tedious portion, I promise. I'm getting tired of this. Let's check this vent. Just to make sure there's nothing inside before the drop we saw. There is not. One row of computers left on here on the second floor. Head to the third floor then. We've already talked to this guy. There's nothing else in here. Hundley's made his way up here. That's not so much of a concern. One last bank of computers. Four rows, six each, 23, 22, 21, 20, 
18. Let's take a break and check the top vent shaft. Still no goodies. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. This one's different. We'll have to hack it in just a second. Over here is the elevator itself. We can't bypass the keypad. We need to code. So let's talk to the guy for, or read the data cube first. I think something bad is happening downstairs, but I don't know what. Yesterday I found a man in the bathroom, dressed in street clothes and raving about I don't know what. Doctors and the things they did to him. Downstairs, he said, but there is no downstairs. I don't know how he got into the building. When I called security, a bunch of scary guys in riot armor showed up. They didn't say anything, just shot him with a dart. He stopped talking. Maybe he was dead. When I tried to get closer, they shoved me halfway across the room, like swatting an insect. My supervisor came, questioned me about loyalty and shared objectives with the program. Mentioned how dangerous Hong Kong streets were, that security was for my protection, and that it was there to protect, prevent unfortunate incidents. There are more of the guys in scary riot armor. They are coming this way. I think I'll take a restroom break. Let's hack his computer now, and then finally we'll talk to him. From Underlit Pub, subject slower than Pinchon. Underlit Publishing is pleased to announce the release of Sheldon Picotti's previously unpublished first short story collection, Slower Than Pinchon.
Cotty's work, including such modern classics as Demiurge, Blue Time in B Minor, and the award-winning short story Calculated Regrets, has often been compared to that of a later-day Paul Auster or Thomas Pinchon, after which the short story collection was entitled. But with a modern technological sensibility, Hakati was also an integral part of the fabulous revival that has been popularized in the last decade. The publication marks the first time Slower Than Pinchon has been made available since its inception. represents a crucial period in Picotti's development as a writer. It will be available for download from www.sheldonpicotti.com later today. From A. Grossman, subject, finally beat it. I managed to nail NetHack v54.3.1 just a few minutes ago, made it past the astral plane, and then back in time to work through all of history up to NetHack v3.2.3. This, of course, has been in every mission since 48.2. But after that, the game jumped a thousand years into the future, and I had to build an entire interstellar trading alliance with only the amulet of Yendor before the aliens from the other side of the black hole just showed up. It took me six months to solve that part of the game, and then I finally won. Check it out, www.nethack.org. I hear version V54.3.3 should be out next week, Austin. From Isn't It Grand, subject, entertainment update.
Oracle Pictures today announced that Chris Todd's new picture, Pact of Shadows, was greenlit with a budget of 450 million credits. The plot, which has been one of the best kept secrets in the biz, supposedly concerns an ongoing war. Between ancient secret societies and their struggle to wrest control from an infinitely older and more dangerous foe called simply Leviathan, it's an action-adventure philosophy film, said Todd. And hopefully you'll see things, experience things you've never had an opportunity to experience before. With this movie, I'm really hoping to build an intricate, engrossing tapestry of story and character, before everything goes horribly awry, of course, and the real fun begins. The film, to be produced under the Seven Crows, www.sevencrows.com banner, should begin shooting this fall for a Christmas of next year release. Well, I never found that set of emails before. Awesome. Let's talk to this guy now. What? Just looking around. People are trying to concentrate. They keep you up here pretty late. That's because they don't want people looking over my shoulder. Why not? Huh. I guess it doesn't matter what I say anymore. It's because I falsify all the records, okay? They probably don't want you telling people that. So? I don't care. I figured it out today, how they do it. People with my job got the great death. In a couple of weeks, I could be in a camp. I could already be sick. Why would they do that? Whatever's in those labs, stuff goes in there. Instruments, military personnel. None of it goes on the record. Iverson had this job, that's why he got sick. Chang, Kylie, Watts. Now it's me. I'd really like to check out those labs. You some kind of spy or something? Does it matter? If I get you down there, can you do something for me? What's that? Hunley, kill him. I bet you could do it. You guys have ways to keep from getting caught. I can give you clearance. I want to see those labs. Mr. Hunley checks the logs every five minutes. I can't do anything while he's around. All right. As usual, we don't actually need to kill Mr. Hunley. Knocking him out will be sufficient. I think so, anyway. It almost always is. <laughs> now he had cigarettes, a hundred credits, and a broad charger. Handy. Let's go talk to our friend on level 3 again. Alright, I killed your boss. You mean... He's out of the picture. I'd advise you not to hang around too long. Now how about getting me into the labs? Well okay, sure, it doesn't matter to me. The code to the elevator is 6512. I'll make sure you have access once you get to the lab. 
Note, VersaLife elevator code 6512. It's a big operation down there. Lots of genetics work going on. That's all I've been able to figure out. I'll make a break for it after my shift. I can't leave right now because of the cameras. I hope they don't figure out it was us. Security passes expire. You better get going. Security passes expire. You better get going. All right, you get 150 skill points for that, which is why I chose that method above all the others. 1722. And let's head downstairs. 6512. 120 more skill points for getting inside the elevator. 1842. Very nice. Down. Majestic 12 Development Program, Pacific Rim Research Facility. Now, you should recognize the place I'm about to get into. It's the iconic image of this game. You're the one that just cleared for level one. Yeah, that's me. You are welcome to stroll around the laboratories, but respect the work that we do here. Your security pass can be canceled with no warning. I've looked forward to this for a long time. Security is watching through the cameras. If you cause trouble, an alarm will sound, and the guards won't wait to ask questions. Yes, sir. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Do not ask the scientists questions. They are very busy. The Americans are here, so everyone has to be a little more formal today. Welcome to the Level 1 Laboratories. Sorry, we do not give tours. The Americans are here, so everyone has to be a little more formal today. All right. I want to take everybody out, if possible, because... Should be obvious that, uh... Eventually, an alarm will sound. That's just how it works. Well, I don't know why the trooper turned hostile and the commando didn't, but I'll take it. No alarm went off, so the rest of the level should still be okay with me. Anyway, the hand encircling the earth in the big red hallway ugh, still looks awesome after a decade. Drop this command, though. We gotta be careful with the guy up there, though. We gotta do it where he can't see. Well, we can do better than that, I think. That's more like it. Don't find anything, thankfully still move their bodies. I think this hallway is clear now. So let's head down here. I'm going to turn left first. You can see the labs through the glass beneath me. Let's head up this elevator. Laboratory Special Security. I don't recall being informed of any visitors. Your activities here have been noted. We will have many questions to ask your department head. The directive provided very specific instructions for you to follow. Your purpose for being here remains unclear. I will be consulting your father. The directive provided very specific instructions for you to follow. All right, drop this guy now. Ooh. 
No room for the assault rifle, that's fine. Up here we can find a magnetic augmentation chamber nano key. A data cube. Harrison, as per our discussion, I will retain root access. Regarding the other key members of the weapons research team, M. Chow should be given full access, while the others will be granted only user access until further notice. Thanks, Dr. Lundquist. Let's hack this bad boy. Open. Unlocked. Off, 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 open. So that's open to hatch in front of the hand. We'll go down there to the actual labs in a moment. I got a little too trigger happy with the trooper in the commando and forgot to talk to them before taking them down. Oh well. Before we head down there, let's check this side of the main level, as it were. They don't let me talk to lab personnel. I'm on duty. Carry on with your business. Keep your security pass with you at all times. Guess we both have to work late. Psionics is on level two. Tough day, huh? I'm ready to knock off. You lost or something? You lost or something? You shouldn't be back here. This is the armory. Why do you need a weapon? What are you doing? We're gonna report this. This is the armory. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know if I can hack this without turning them hostile. I think I can. Not that it matters much, I think it's the same as the one upstairs. Yep. Why do you need a weapon? Let's check the restroom. go into those vents in a minute. First, let's check the break room. It's really a question of abstraction. Exactly, exactly. You can't be dealing with this sort of thing on the base pair level. Essentially what I told Miss Chow. Tissue augmentation. It's not a matter of twiddling bits. We are having an important discussion. We need to stay focused on tools. In principle, yes, I agree. The older scientists don't grasp what it means to have so much data. Still, we have to throw them a bone once in a while. With the right software, organism design should be indistinguishable from cat cam. We'll rip up another non-Mendelian. They love the Karkians. We are having an important discussion. You met the American team? Have a look around. The project is finally starting to heat up. Just talking shop? Never mind us. Tell Simons we are close. Very close. Aren't you supposed to be downstairs? Aren't you supposed to be downstairs? They don't let me talk to lab personnel. Alright, let's read this data cube. Dr. Harrison, I was running a regression analysis on the UC and it appears we have a serious error that could result in uncontrolled replication. Until a new version of the control system can be tested, I've installed a temporary patch that will initiate a cascading shutdown sequence. This will also destroy the UC in the process, so use only an emergency. The code is 525. Ops says the new system should be online within 72 hours, so stick to low yield runs until then. Dr. Lundquist. I believe that's it for this room, unless you need some food. Let's go to the conference room. It is a simple request. Lab procedure forbids. The Psionics Laboratory. 
The Psyonix laboratory has no business worrying about weak interactions between incidental subatomic particles. Our work on Fitchov Capra. Capra. A quantum quack. Don't criticize what you don't understand. I am not allowed to speak to visitors. Scientific progress depends upon collaboration. Maybe you should cross your legs, unto yourself, and try to read my mind. The sharing of data between departments should be automatic. VersaLife did not achieve one trillion credit equity by disclosing R&D material. We work in the same building! Our results can be understood only by a few dozen people on the planet, none of whom are psionics engineers. Do not interfere with the experiment. I cannot answer any of your questions. I am working. We are being observed. Special agents are here to enforce pulse. Go about your own business. Miss Chow will inspect the facility shortly. Do not pry into the research of other groups. The boss is here from the United States. He is very hard to impress. I cannot answer any of your questions. I'm trying to talk here. How rude. Stop interrupting. How rude. This is a private conference. One of yours? Really? We have reserved the room for the next two hours. One of yours? All right. <clears throat> Let's do the vents now, before I mess with those guards. And climb up these vents, and eventually we're gonna get some skill points. Oh, and there's a Greasel up here. That's what I remembered. Two darts should be sufficient for him. I think I missed like, one of them somehow. Yeah, I did. Alright, when you get up to the Greasel level, you get your 50 skill point exploration bonus. So, 1892. Don't open that. Let's see. This just exists for sneaking around the Greasel if you're so inclined. Probably would have been smarter, but... Can't remember what I find if I get all the way to the end. Just make sure I've fully explored the ventilation system. Sometimes there are goodies and such. But for the labs themselves, my security pass is still active, so I'll just take the main entrances. Just need 
need to make sure no one sounds any alarms and they'll be fine. Interesting. This is just another view of the main room. Down here. Try this one first. <gasps> Same thing on the other side. Alright, good enough. The other one. Okay, I recognize that spot. Very good. I have to admit, I'll be a touch annoyed if I do all this and don't actually find anything inside the vents. Well, except a lot of useful ways around, but that appears to be where we're headed. I didn't explore yet. That's this passage right here. That takes me to the upstairs security room. Alright, let's go tackle those guards before we head down to the labs. Thank you. 
try positioning myself behind him. One guy without incident. It looks like once we scare the res once the researchers are startled, everything's done. So let's get three in the armory. Then we'll go for the guy in the break room. Nothing. She has nothing. 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 Flamethrower. Assault rifle and a knife. Assault rifle. Nothing. All right. Now we can search these rooms. Pistol ammo and ballistic armor on the shelf. Cabinets where the money is. None of this looks to actually be worth two lockpicks except maybe the data cube. But the data cube very well might be important, so. Commander Triolet, in order to correct the corrupted security upgrade, it was necessary for me to do a low-level wipe of the entire system and reinstall from a virgin backup. As a result, the security login and password has been reset to the default MJ12 and security. Please change the password at your earliest possible convenience and inform your personnel. Troy Whitaker, MJ12IS, admin. Alright, well, I like to have every message, so... We'll keep that as it is. Now let's head into the conference room because there's a cabinet in here as well. Two more data cubes in there. I'd rather blow this open though. There aren't any bodies in here so there's no danger in doing so. Alright, tech goggles. A bioelectric cell, which I'll go ahead and use. Max out my energy. And two data cubes. Mark. Excuse me. 
We received that augmentation canister you were waiting on. I had it put in suspension in the magnetic testing chamber, code 5878. Let me know once you get the results of the test. Thanks, Dr. Lundquist. Dr. Lundquist, the new server node for the weapons research team is now active and user permissions have been set as you asked. The master password for this node is Democles. Please let me know if you need anything else, Harrison. Excuse me. Finally feel better though. You can open this with the uh, with a multi-tool instead of the security computers, but it doesn't matter. 50 skill points for heading down these stairs. Brings me up to 1942. Hallways on either side are identical. The raw man coding should be in this wing of the laboratory. Thanks, Tracer. Everybody's still cool with me. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. I even kept him unaware, I thought. Yep, rocket and a combat knife, yahoo. Over here is access to level two. And another guard. We do not have the key code to get to level two yet. Rifle and a knife on that guy. Nothing we haven't seen before. Let's head down here then. Things to the right might actually be different. Maybe not. Oh, they're symmetrical. Which is always handy. So, this computer right here has the ROM encoding we're after, but we should definitely explore the rest of this laboratory. <laughs> Given the presence of very useful nanotech assets inside. Come on now. That's what I like to see. Assault shotgun, same deal as usual. Return to where you belong. I was not told to expect another researcher. The world must proceed smoothly. A strange hour to be visiting the laboratories. I will inquire about you upstairs. The work must proceed smoothly. Woman in black. Never pleasant. Ah! You doubtless noticed that she was armed with the dragon's tooth. Ooh. Assault rifle and a knife on that trooper. This room to the left, I believe, is the trooper barracks for this facility. Yes, that looks right. The labs are down the hall. I think you're lost. Hey, what are you doing in here? These are private quarters. Get out before one of us throws you out. I've been watching over your fat asses all day. I don't want to do it during my break. Hey, buddy. Who do you think you are? We're gonna write this up. Think you own us? Hey, buddy. Who do you think you are? Alright, now let's knock him out. <laughs> One shot is always best. He had a sawed-off shotgun and a knife. 
One pick. Let's see if it's worth it. Uh-oh. Huh. Seems that they really didn't like me going after their lockers. Three more guards, I think another gas grenade is in order right here. Very good. Got them all, that's important. Assault rifle and a knife. Wait for the gas. While I wait for the gas to clear, let's check up here. There's nothing. Let's hit this security computer. Oh wait, I don't need to hack it. It's just uh, MJ12 security, isn't it? Yep, and it's the same as the others. Knife and an assault rifle, sniper rifle. No real differences, though. All right, let's get the guy I saw in the locker room. Labs are down the hall. <laughs> Nothing. Now we can start checking lockers. Nothing worthwhile in any of those. Let's see if this is worth it. I'm gonna go with no. Nothing in there but a pistol. Yeah, that's not worth anything. And shower is empty. Bathroom similarly empty. Well, let's head up here and check these lockers now. Each. Well, this one's on. Pistol and cigarettes. The rest take one pick each. Let's see if this one's worth it. Sure. Make back the lock pick, get a multi tool, get 50 credits. That was easily worth it. Nothing on that bed, nothing on that bed. Let's see if this one's worth a pick. Fifty credits, pistol ammo, sure, I'll take it. This one. Pepper spray. I'm gonna have to go with no, just because my pepper gun ammo is already maxed out. All right, let's head out into the nanotech labs now. First things first. The process is going smoothly then? Better than we expected. The array of reaction modules has allowed the UC to perform multiple constructions in parallel. One. We'll have to try that trick at Area 51. The problem, you understand, is primarily a security concern. Never mind that punk from you, Natco. The security here is adequate and we have a long-term program guaranteed to make him irrelevant. We call it Icarus. Icarus? A sweet bit of engineering. You'll like it, but we can't talk here. Your office? No time. Tell me on the way. Alright, they're gonna head out. Let's hit this computer. 
same as all the others. <clears throat> Alright, let's get the woman in black here on the top level. Return to where you belong. I'd like to do that before I do anything else if I can. I was ruined forever by learning that I could drop these gals at least with one shot from the charger from the prod out in the hallway. Beautiful. I wonder if I can do it to the men too. They look bigger, so I don't know. But we'll find out. Nothing in this room, so let's look at this one. Hazmat suit. And some people. And a lockpick on the shelf. Perfect. I don't recall being informed of any visitors. None of them want to speak to me. Okay, that's fine. Let's look at this data cube. Dr. Bates. I've just finished supervising the refit of the super freighter fuel tanks to transport the virus. This stuff should really be shipped in suspension crates, but I know you'll want to rapidly offload it once it reaches New York. Biocontamination seals will not last past 36 hours, however, and a complete level 4 sterilization of the tanks will need to occur once the virus is offloaded to ensure that there's no incidental release. I integrated some sealed pumping units into the tanks, so you should just be able to use standard YHU-55 couplers and A-Zero Micron hoses for the transfer to the helicopters. But tell Simons I'd still have everyone in hazmat suits the whole time, Dr. Lundquist. Nothing inside those cabinets. And I don't know why you'd burn three lockpicks on the f this, because I well I see something He's in the here. up there. Intruder, I'm dealing with. Oh, but we we have to take down the bad guys before that works. I probably can get them with one shot, but I imagine I have to be behind them. They're standing, in the, they're standing in the corners like that. That's not going to happen. Well, maybe it can. Nothing if not creative. Let's try this. Maybe I can drop behind him. That'd be something. set off the alerts. What if I drop these guys? Find anything. Don't find anything. Don't find anything. Look at this. Experimental subject cells added to nano key ring, so I can release the greasels or the bum if I'm so inclined. And there's a radioactive area back there. I'll want to check all of that out. I'm afraid we don't have time for visitors right now. Please, you'll upset the subject. This one did better than most, but he is very excitable. The neural tissue, in particular, failed to express certain proteins. Really, you should go. Irregular nitrin expression, you understand? No immune response, however. That should get us another big check from Walter Simon, don't you think? I've told them before, new neurons are the answer. 
we need to reconfigure what is already there. Please, you'll upset the subject. Alright, he's done. He's got nothing. But these two. I don't want to be disturbed. I have two words for whomever wrote this biometrics package. User interface. I have to concentrate. Somebody's going to have to totally gut this thing and start over. How do they expect to express a high-level feature in a genome if they can't even come up with a topologically sound representation? That's enough. I really must work. That's enough. I really must work. I am not allowed to speak to visitors. Alright, now the three special security guys are still green and happy. Let's check this area first. I think they're. The captain here. I think there's five trees in here, if I remember right. Two of 